So welcome to the fifth Philanthropy Leaders Summit. I can't believe this is our fifth. Please welcome Julie Murray, the CEO of Moonridge. And making sure they got a return on investment. They use the latest in trends and best practices. And they were collaborative when it was needed. It changed the world. My philanthropy experience has been through JDRF. And as a type 1 diabetic myself, I've been a youth ambassador for four years. What really did it was going to them individually. So I think that um, that's an interesting lesson. And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, this kid is 12 and I'm 14. What am I doing with my life? So, <laughs> and so. When we first started in Las Vegas, we had somewhat of a blank campus. And so you had a vision of what things matter that you really can make your own imprint and find your own way. And where I got happier was when I started finding out why. I heard earlier, there, when it became personal. Volunteerism has become a central component of employee engagement, a part of company DNA, no longer an optional perk. At NV Energy, we, we're very proud to have the NV Energy Foundation. Uh, that oversees the giving uh, really on behalf of our 2,500 employees in the state of Nevada. And this is a thriving and, and robust community and we're proud now to be part of it in, in all different ways. It's that with great success comes great uh, responsibility. What we are today is not what we will be in the future. So I surround my girls with strong people, women and men, who I'm proud to have in my life. Stop preventing the nonprofit sector from using money in any meaningful shape or form to incentivize the production of more value. Stop treating money like it's a sin in the nonprofit sector. If you prohibit failure, you just killed innovation. Now if you kill innovation in fundraising, you can't raise more money. If you can't raise more money, you can't grow. If you can't grow, you can't possibly solve social problems that are many orders of magnitude larger than you.